Valley College. What a place. Hi, I'm Tamara Dote, and I'll be your host and tour guide of sorts for the next few minutes here at Boy College. But rather than bore you with dry facts and still shots of the campus, I want to take you inside the school and give you that taste of what it would be like to be a student here at Beloit. Let's we'll start off on the academic wing of school, where all the classes are held. Each one of these buildings houses a separate department, which gives it that unique flavor. The large brick building in the distance is Chamberlain, our science building, and it has its own conservatory and observatory for all you stargazers out there. This is the anthropology building on campus. Not only is it one of our strongest departments, but it has a connected museum with artifacts from all over the world! Now this striking and majestic building behind me is Middle College and houses our admissions office, as well as MacGyver! <laughs> Not TV's MacGyver! Our very own Vice President, Alan G. MacGyver. I love this place. I mean, I really love this place. But enough of these shenanigans. Let's have one of our official tour guides here on campus tell you how Beloit's affected her in and out of the classroom. Um, all of our teachers go by their first names oh, here. So that's nice. it's, my name is Leslie Kidder, and I'm from um, Percival, Virginia, about an hour outside of Washington, D.C. I'm a sophomore at Beloit, and I'm a double major in anthropology and an invented major called Chinese business. We have a professor who's doing a dig out up in northern Wisconsin. Being that I'm from Virginia, I came 16 hours to come to school here, and I've never even been to Wisconsin or Illinois for that matter. But when I came to visit, it was my first time here, and I felt fantastic about the school, and I'm extremely happy here. I love this school, and I, I love all the people I've met and all the experiences I've had, and I've had great classes and professors. I was also really impressed by Beloit as far as its um, large numbers of international students that we have here. We're represented by over 60 foreign countries here, and I've made a lot of great friends who are international. The program I'm looking to go to is in Shanghai, and it's with Fudan University, and it's a Chinese speaking program. You have to have taken at least two years of Chinese to go. I'm doing my second year of varsity soccer here at Beloit now, and I'm a captain. I play center mid. I made the decision to do it, and in the end, it's actually helped me stay very focused with my academics and keep my life organized and make sure I have enough time to fit everything in. Being on that team has been a great learning experience for me, and I'm really glad I made the decision to play sports. It was the right thing for me to do. <laughs> One of the more fascinating things Leslie forgot to mention, which distinguishes Beloit from other schools, is the First Year's Initiative Program, or FYI. This is a course all freshmen must take during their first semester, and is taught by all professors on campus. One of the more crazy characters that teaches one of these courses, you may have seen, as he was featured on NBC's Today Show. Shake my hand. Psych! Psych. 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 Is that right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's an interesting man, so let's hear what he has to say about the program. First of all, there must be a possibility of variation. Uh, the FYI program um, is uh, uh, our freshman seminar program at the college. Uh, we are uh, essentially uh, focusing on certain skills that are necessary to get through college and get through life, such as critical thinking skills, research skills, uh, communication skills, including um, writing and speaking, as well as listening. Uh, 